Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're fighting the many gods of Greece and the Nine Realms as we find 10 things cut from God of War games. Sometimes the scope of a game is bigger than what the team can accomplish during production. So not all ideas are able to make it into the game, no matter how amazing or how far along in development they might be. What content do you wish had made the cut? Let us know down in the comments. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Fool Mode, God of War 2018. I'm a god boy. One of the most contentious moments in 2018's God of War comes shortly after Atreus learns of his true godhood, and shortly thereafter becomes arrogant, believing he and Kratos are above all normal, mortal problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... Alright. That hurt a little. This all culminates in him berating Sindri and eventually causing him and Kratos to end up in Helheim due to his actions. What makes this moment so frustrating for players is the near immediate 180 of Atreus' character, from a young boy desperate for his father's approval to an arrogant young god consumed by his ego. According to director Cory Barlog, this transformation was originally meant to happen much more gradually and take place over the course of a couple hours worth of gameplay, but was ultimately cut due to pacing issues. The development team lamented this decision, however, echoing fans' frustration over Atreus' sudden transformation. You, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. The Harpy Boss Battle, God of War. The Harpies are a recurring enemy throughout Kratos' journey of the Greek pantheon, but they are usually nothing more than an annoyance or a means to an end to cross an impassable gap. However, there was originally a plan in place to make the Harpy one of the most fearsome foes that Kratos faced in the first God of War. During his quest to acquire Pandora's box, Kratos faces many trials and puzzles before eventually claiming the box in order to defeat Ares. Originally, there was going to be one final challenge for the future God of War to face, a sleeping mother harpy guarding her eggs, which happened to be between Kratos and Pandora's box. Kratos would have needed to sacrifice her eggs one by one to a nearby fire in order to wake her and engage her in combat and finally retrieve the box. Drummer, God of War 2018. God of War 2018 pulls many of its enemies from Norse mythology, such as the many Draugr Kratos and Atreus face in their journey. One of the more challenging recurring enemies is the Witch Revenant, who casts spells from afar and can disappear should Kratos attempt to engage in close quarter combat. Originally, however, there was another arguably more horrific enemy the two would have faced. The multi-armed drummer seemingly isn't based on any known Norse legend and is instead simply dreamt up from the nightmares of Santa Monica's character designer. A bloated corpse with black, hollow eyes, it isn't hard to imagine its large, fleshy belly drum would have created some truly horrific beats the father and son would need to contend with. That was a real revenant. Atlantis, God of War II. You have desecrated my kingdom! I shall not forget this, Ghost of Sparta! Although gamers would eventually get to visit the city under the sea in God of War Ghost of Sparta, originally, there was a plan for them to visit Atlantis much earlier before it was cut from God of War II. As you'll soon see on this list, God of War II had a lot of ambition but much of the planned content was left on the cutting room floor by the end of production. Atlantis was unfortunately one of the casualties, but thankfully many of the concepts and ideas born from God of War 2's original pitch ended up being used to make Atlantis the main setting of God of War Ghost of Sparta, albeit with some minor changes due to hardware restrictions. You will answer! 
answer for this affront! Helheim, God of War 2018. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. One of the biggest criticisms about God of War 2018 was the overuse of the troll boss fight throughout the entire game. This wasn't always planned to be the case, however, and unfortunately, what could have been one of the best boss battles in the entire game was scrapped due to time constraints. During his initial journey through Helheim, Kratos must defeat the troll and claim its heart. But originally, Kratos was supposed to kill the enormous bird perched in the background, silently watching the God of War kill the gatekeeper. Here's hoping we finally get the showdown we were promised with the bird's ominous gaze meeting ours as we escaped from Helheim. Fire Would you believe magic? Norse Warriors, God of War 2018. Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look! The Draugr and Hellwalkers are some of the most common enemies Kratos and Atreus encounter in their journey to Jotunheim, but this originally wasn't always the case. In the final game, the only human enemies the pair encounter are early on in their journey and invite the father and son duo for dinner. Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice! So many days without meat. Meat? <clears throat> Wait, us? Behind me. Originally, the plan was for most of the early enemies Kratos and Atreus encountered to be Norse warriors, similar to those encountered briefly in the final game, albeit a little less hungry. Fighting mythological creatures makes more sense from a narrative standpoint, as you don't really want a child mercilessly killing innumerable human enemies, plus the story would have lost some of its emotional gut punch from Atreus' first kill had this remained the plan through to release. Close your heart to it. Character Graveyard, God of War. Getting a look behind the curtain of game design is always a fascinating examination of the process of bringing the stories and games we love to life. After beating the original God of War, players could get a look at many of the concepts and designs that didn't make it into the final game, along with detailed explanations about why each element was cut. From different designs of enemies to early design versions of Kratos and playtest versions of the iconic character, in the pre-YouTube days, this was a great way to get a look at the design process and is something we wish more games would include besides the usual concept art or 3D models. Lost Levels God of War 2 Similar to what the original God of War did with its character graveyard, God of War 2 took things a step further by showing off entire levels that didn't make the cut. Everything from a coliseum, a marketplace, an escape sequence through a snowy mountain pass on the back of your fiery pegasus, and even the previously mentioned Atlantis is here. Unfortunately, none of this is playable and is just a demo reel, but many of the elements on display seem fairly far along in some cases, so it's unknown if they were cut due to time constraints, or if the area just didn't match the pace of the rest of the game. Two-Headed Turtle God of War Chains of Olympus. In what could have been one of the largest boss battles Kratos encountered on Sony's little handheld, Kratos would have faced down a massive two-headed turtle on a beach after encountering it munching on some nearby citizens. Similar to his battle against the Kraken, Kratos would have needed to cut off each of the two heads one at a time in order to emerge victorious. He then would have used the turtle's shell in order to cross the water and continue his journey. The battle seemed fairly far along in development based on the footage released, so it's unknown why this epic struggle was missing from the final game. Early Concepts God of War David Jaffe continues to give gamers a look at the processes involved in the production of the original God of War. Yet another unlockable aside the aforementioned character Graveyard, David Jaffe narrates this exploration of some of the original concepts planned for God of War, as well as some of the earliest test gameplay from the beginning of the game's development. 
Jaffe also laments some of the title's cut content, such as Icarus' wings, as well as much more ambitious puzzles for the Trials of Pandora's Box. While he states much of the cut content was so they could focus on the core game they were designing, some of the concepts seem like more than what Sony's second console might have been capable of at the time. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.